Hey guys. Today we gonna talk about hyper-threading. Imagine a magic where if you've dual-core processor, it's become quad-core. So, is it magic technology? We gonna discuss it here. Historically speaking, for the first time, Intel launched hyper-threading in November 2002 on Pentium 4 desktop CPUs and six years AMD launched it too in 2008. Well, it's not a magic but the implementation of science and technology. Hyper-threading is technology where a microprocessor is allowed to act as a double microprocessor to OS and the application that used it. With hyper-threading, a microprocessor's core can execute two concurrent streams of instructions or orders sent by the operating system. Having two streams of execution units allows more work to be done by the processor during each clock cycle. Now, having hyper-threading means the OS look the microprocessor as the two separate processors. So, what is the use of higher threading? It's used in heavy multitasking, 3D rendering, and video editing at the same time. But the issue is if you do your working in serial or where you do the task one by one. Hyperthreading is not useful there. Hyperthreading versus no hyperthreading? Okay, imagine you have two computers that work on different frequencies but one is with hyperthreading, another one is without hyperthreading. One processor works on 3.0 GHz with hyperthreading and the second processor is without hyperthreading but works on 3.6 GHz. In this case, the first one works faster because of hyper threading. But there are two main disadvantages. Heat output will be more and that means more power is consumed. Security issue. In May 2005, Colin Percival demonstrated that a malicious thread on a Pentium 4 can use a timing attack to monitor the memory access patterns of another thread with which it shares a cache, allowing the theft of cryptographic information. That's all for now. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoy it, give it thumbs up, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Take care and goodbye.